Only in America, when you're food shopping, do you think, you know what I really read right now? A blow up shark or sea turtle or alligator to play with in the pool or the lake, because that makes perfect sense. Good morning everyone, welcome back, this is Sierra, and today is day two of our Yellowstone adventure. Hey, what's our plan for today? We're going to hike a little bit in the morning, and then what are we going to do in the afternoon? We're going to go down to the lake and uh, check out that and see a bunch of waterfalls. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do today, and before we stopped by the store, we stopped by a place called Albertson, which is a supermarket, and I got my first raspberries in almost a year. No, it's been over a year. I haven't had raspberries since May 8th last year because they're so dang expensive in Tokyo, but in the U.S., they're two for five dollars, which I know some people say it's still too much for raspberries, but two for five dollars is way better than, like, 100 grams for like 700 yen so or seven dollars so how much are these ones 170 grams for 250 so that's amazing in comparison to the japanese price because so i'm going to eat probably all these raspberries on the way there and i guess i will see you guys when we get there hey guys we are at the visitor information center in yellowstone and i'm sorry i'm squinty eyed the sun's like blaring in my face i'm gonna turn around um waiting for mr to get out of the wc we stopped here because it's the last flushing one for the rest of the park, I think. So while I wait, I just want to tell you something I thought was funny. So while we've been in Yellowstone yesterday and today we just saw another bus, there are a lot of Chinese tour companies that come through. And inside the bathrooms, it just kind of reminded me of being in Japan. There was a sign, I'll put a like little video clip of it right here, uh, where it was telling them to not stand on the toilet but to sit. I just think it was funny. It kind of made me feel like being back home in Japan because they have those signs in a lot of bathrooms especially when you're hiking wow. okay look at me hey. hey you guys so we just stopped off and i don't want to scare them but there is a like whole little herd of bison right behind me <laughs> look how many there are and there's even like over here you can see there's like a baby one they're so cute they're so cool We're never gonna get anywhere today. We drove like two minutes and we found more bison. I'm honestly not convinced this is gonna get old. Just look at them. They're so neat and they're so big. And I mean, they can be violent if you bother them, but like most of these guys are just chilling. Like that one, he's just hanging out back there eating all the grass. Like, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. And there's so many baby ones. Ugh, I just can't handle it. They're so cute. Rain, snow, they don't care. They live out here. Do you think they don't care? I'm a bit afraid of this one. They were staring at me the whole time. I don't dare to move, but I want to get out. What do you think? Look. Yeah, like don't stare him down. You should probably be fine. <laughs> but look! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. So we are driving away now, but in, a few minutes ago, I was taking pictures of some bison that were on the side of the road and I wasn't paying attention. And this bison was like slowly creeping up on me and he was probably like three feet or four feet. Well, he's probably like six feet away from me. And then he looked, just looked right at me. I took two steps forward and I freaked the F out and ran away. It was freaking terrifying, but wow. Anyways, I'll insert a clip of him after this as we are driving away from him, but wow, that was weird. Okay, so that's my story of how I almost got killed by a bison. Okay, there's this bison right by the side of the road up here. That's the one. That's the one who nearly tried to kill me. Yeah, you, you tried to kill me.
So here's a geographical model of all of Yellowstone. See, you can see it all in a day. And if you can see the canyon right there, that's where we're gonna go hiking today. We're gonna try to hike the South Rim and also the North Rim, depending on how icy it is. We talked to the rangers and they said we might not be able to do one of them, but we are going to try our best. Hey guys, so we are outside of Uncle Tom's Point, as it says in the sign, and we are going to do a hike down to what's called Artist Point. We wanted to hike the entire South Ridge Trail, but when we tried to get on the trailhead down by the um, bridge, it was blocked off, but it looks like this one's going to be okay, so we will be able to hike all the way down there. Mister is waiting annoyed over there. Hi! Hi. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So <laughs> that was really fun. I just met some tourists who were really excited and interested in what I was doing out here. I'm filming for a YouTube channel. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to get started, and I did have a little wardrobe change because there's a bit of an incline I'd wear it if it get hot, but this is thermal, so I should be okay. And that's all I have to say, so let's... Mr. Flying. Is this a motorcycle? Or bicycle? Ah, okay. And we're back to the winter again. Careful behind me, baby. Seriously? Aww. Okay, so the South Rim Trail goes down there and that's closed. And so it's Uncle Tom's Trail. So this goes back up to the road. As she climbs Mount Everest, she has reached the top. closed halfway through we ended up having to come around and then get back to where we started and so we just drove down to Artist Point and now we're walking down the path there so we'll show it to you guys when we get down there Artist Point viewing area, and as you guys can see, it is 
amazing outside. I think Mister's taken like 10 panoramics of this exact shot. I'll put one in after this. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty crowded up here because there's a couple of tour buses here with us. But I feel like look at that. A lot of me wants to climb out to that ridge right there, but the rest of me isn't stupid enough to do it. <laughs> I see that guy right there. That's the guy. Picture of Mr. and I taking a picture. Exhibit, I don't know what letter on. Things not to do in Yellowstone. Don't do that. When she falls, guess whose fault it's going to be? Hers and the Rangers, probably, because they're going to try to steal. Yeah, see, that's not a trail. That is where people have been walking, where there's not a trail. You guys look really carefully at that one right so there keeps trying to nurse and the mom keeps walking away oh there he goes again I can't believe she's doing that out in public she should go into one of those rooms or cover up or something the room is called the outdoors <laughs> And yet, it's snowing up here. hiking a trail kind of around a loop around some little geysers and cauldrons and stuff and we got down to the end of our trail and our car is literally over there and we found this what do you do when your trail has this many buffalo right in the middle of it you decide to walk another mile in the other direction that you came from because you'd rather not die today Hey guys, guess what? We made it to Lake Yellowstone! Isn't that amazing? It's so cool. It kind of reminds me of like the Great Lakes up in Michigan because it's iced over and everything, but we are not in Michigan. Wow.
Hey you guys, we're at the last stop off of the day because it's around 7 p.m. and it's starting to get really cold. But I just wanted to show you guys, there's some really pretty elk. I think they're, yeah, they're female elk right behind me. And they are right there. They're really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna add some pictures of them at the end when I'm finished. But um, that's the end of our video for today. So if you guys like this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. So you guys get a notification every single time we post something new and exciting. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.